irrespective of their status. A team player and a mentor. This virtue enabled the Commission to quickly reorganize itself to try and fit in its big shoes. Chris, we greatly missed you during this electioneering process, but be assured that your memory, in your memory, we, we upheld what you lived for. Due to the nature of Chris's responsibility, we interacted often, and he became a friend and advisor on matters ICT. Many of you are testimony to numerous talks and trainings that Chris undertook to ensure that the Kenyan water was confident with the electoral process. It is still fresh in the minds of Kenyans that Friday, that Friday of the brutal murder, Chris was on the TV stations doing what he knew best, educating Kenyans and providing confidence on the electoral technology. Simplifying the Kenya Integrated Election Management System, what we call KIMS, without using intellectual limbo or jargon. My sincere condolences to the family. In moments like this, words appear to have no meaning. I pray that the guardian angels always be with you. Eva, Jacob, Alan, Alvin, Alma, and Elson, I want you always to remember that your husband and father was a great man. For the times he did not spend with you, he, ded he dedicated it to the IBC, doing heroic tasks, serving his country with honor, dedication, and integrity. Mama Maria, who has lost her son, this is brothers and sisters, friends and colleagues. There are no words that could possibly comfort you for your loss, and I hope that the legacy Chris leaves behind in electro technology will be one that you forever cherish. Chris embodied what the American entrepreneur Jim Rohn once said, and I quote, the challenge of leadership is to be strong, but not rude, be kind, but not weak, be bold, but not bully, be thoughtful, but not lazy, be humble, but not timid, be proud, but not arrogant, have humor, but without folly, end of quote. This is the great man that Chris was. This is what I saw in this great man as he walked in my office to explain complex issues to me. This is what I saw as he sat in our boardroom explaining to us the progress made in various tasks assigned to him. This is the great man that I watched as he addressed hundreds of our staff at Safari Park a few weeks ago, instilling confidence in them that the technology will not fail. That way it had to be done, that it, as it was done in the past. This is a great man whose deep laughter filled our corridors and boardrooms. So today, as we celebrate his life, I want to share with you the enormity of our collective, our collective loss. I also want to celebrate his successes and his legacy. Though he was brut brutally snatched from us too early, his legacy will last forever. Chris will forever remain to us just a great man. May God bless his memory and the lives of all he touched. I leave you with the book of Psalms 116, verse 15, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servant. Thank you very much. As we mourn Chris, let us remember the words of Psalms 116, verse 15. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Chebukati for your very kind and consoling words. I have consulted with Father Daniel, and Father Daniel has asked me to implore those who are speaking after him 
to remember that there will be another function in this very church immediately after this. So we're asking you to kindly summarize, be precise, so that we are not unfair to the next group that is coming in. Allow me to ask Chris's father-in-law, the Reverend Andrew Buyu, to talk to us. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> My name is Reverend Andrew Buyu. I'm here to mourn my son-in-law. Together with me is my wife, Mrs. Jane Buyu. We want to say that this moment is very sad. Before I pass a few remarks, I will ask Mama to say which number is Eva Buyu by giving birth because she's the one who gave birth. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. God is good. All the time. All the time. Eva is my second born, but as a girl, she's my first born girl. And she's the most loved girl in my house. Eva has stayed with me, Mr. Msando all that time, and the Ugenya people can testify how a lady was born in town has lived with them. Praise God. I minister with the Anglican Church of Kenya. Currently, I am posted in the diocese of Maseno South, St. Stephen's Cathedral, Kisumu. I remain born again even in the face of uh, this tragedy. Praise the Lord. I want to testify that the death of my son-in-law numbed the Koff family. Not only numbing the Koa family, but it's also devastated the family of Musando. Not only the family of Musando, but also the family of Buyu, where Eva Buyu comes from.